legends of the Autobahn. Turn our lights on. Did we lose it? No, oh, I think we still got it. Yeah, I hear it. Head southwest on Cross Avenue. Car comes with navigation. Oh. Yeah. We lost it. That's right, he starts right up. Well, this is prog like weather. It is prog like weather. She should, she should feel very comfortable here. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! Very misty here in Monterey, huh? Nathan, I can't believe we are here. 12 states, two continents, almost 4,000 miles, and we are in Monterey on a golf course. It may not be Pebble, but you know what? It's a golf course. It's not just a golf course, folks. This is Legends of the Autobahn. I mean, these are some of the finest German automobiles in the world, and they're right here being judged. And of course, the toucher's not being judged, but she is getting just as much notice. People are amazed. What was that one guy who just said? Oh yeah, one guy looked at it and he said, it reminds me of something Jules Verne would design. <laughs> it's true. Andre, show them the company that the old girl's keeping. Nathan, how cool is that? I am so thrilled to be here. And it's, you know, what a way to end in a beautiful place with these amazing cars and amazing, amazing people. Hell yeah, we did it. Where are you from? Uh, we live in Sonoma. Nice. We drive it. We drove it down. Yeah, like right. Good for you. And uh, next month we put. Uh, um, I, I'm in the same boat as. 3,100 miles on it. I'm driving to Canada. I think the field placement is slowing down. I am impressed because these are very valuable cars. They've gotten to be. Yeah. How long have you had her? 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. So that's. One of the reasons that we, unlike many people, drive them. Look, you're a Pedometer bounces up and down just like ours. No. <laughs> and your fuel gauge isn't working. Well, this, it uh, works part of the time. All right, all right. When it wants to. I love the steering wheel. It's so Art Deco. Uh huh. It is so cool. So, uh, out of all the touches you own, what's your favorite to drive? Or is that being uh, unfair to you? No, that's not unfair. You know, I uh, I enjoy driving this car the most probably because it's kind of the lightest and the most nimble, not the most powerful. Yeah. But uh, of course, if you were going to go on a long road trip, I'd choose the T87 because it's got more more legs, but it's heavier and longer. Like in the city, it's a little more to maneuver around.
Nathan, I can't believe it. We made it all the way to the Pacific. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. I can't believe the Tatra has seen both the Atlantic and now the Pacific Ocean. Almost 4,000 miles. It's a hell of a car. It's a hell of a car. So, what do we do next, dude? All right, I have an idea. You have an idea? What yeah, is it? Yeah. Check this out. Okay. Pebble Beach yeah. to Prague yeah. in a muscle car. <laughs> it's something American. So, we bring an American car to Prague since we just brought a communist car to America. Precisely. We backtrack. We take it back a slightly different route. All right. Maybe southern route? Vegas? Vegas! L.A.? Yeah. Indianapolis? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. I think that is the plan. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for your support. And thank you for watching because this has been one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, but at the same time, one of the most fun things. And I'm so happy I got to enjoy it with you. Thanks, amigo. It's been rewarding. Thank you for watching. Tundra class exists at Pebble Beach. It's an iron, strong, communist car, and it made it all the way across two continents. And yet, you can't even issue what probably takes five minutes to do on a computer, a little pass for us to get in properly. Ridiculous. Yeah. I say we crash the party. I'll do donuts on the lawn on the fourth green with this baby. You really want to try crashing it? You know I'm stupid enough to do that. All right, let's do it. Absolutely. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, is it still? Yeah, that part we couldn't fix. There you got it? No, it's too straight up now. No. Yeah. There, okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, let's crash that party. What are they going to say? No? Hey, you kids in your damn communist car. Damn you, you drove it too far. We only want cars that are trailered here. <laughs> we don't want cars that are actually driven and used. Hey, we came here because Jay Leno said it was okay. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, let's live that him. <laughs> we could say, you think they'll know the difference between the Tetra 87, the uh, pre-war one, and this one? We could say we're driving Jay Leno's Tetra. Yeah, we drove it here, folks. It's, yeah, it's, we're supposed to be here. Where's our passes?